hello friends welcome back to our channel and our in our channel uh, we are in this particular playlist we are talking about or we are uh, making videos on the experimental or laboratory experiments right so in this series we have already uh, made four videos on four different uh, experiments and now today uh, yes in this video also we will just do or we will perform an experiment interesting experiment uh, in which by using the sonometer sonometer name i i hope you have heard in your 12th standard or your in intermediate standard so but now there you just used sonometer to find the frequency of the vibration only right now here we can make use of sonometer to find the frequency of alternating current frequency of alternating current that means we know ac we can say the ac means means whatever current we are using at our home at every places we can find the frequency of that current using our sonometer experiment and that is what the target or that is what the aim of this particular practical okay so that's what you can see the aim written on the journal so you don't worry you'll get this journal in the description box you'll get the link of this journal in the description box of this video so there you'll find the pdf file of this journal don't worry right so here the aim is what to determine the frequency of ac mains using sonometer and the electromagnet so yes obviously we required one electromagnet so what we are doing actually now see i will try to draw the diagram and yes later on obviously you will come to know what actual uh, apparatus will do will perform the experiment do not worry. So, this is what sonometer means yes like this we have a wooden box right. So, to this wooden box we will keep let us consider we will keep this wooden box on a table like this ok and on this wooden box we know we have a pulley at this point and a fixed end point here and right we have a metallic wire which is taken over here and over this pulley and here we have a hanger to which we can attach the different weights right so this is what actually the, the sonometer looks like right um, uh, to just avoid the uh, air gap and not uh, we have some holes to that wooden box like this a rectangular wooden box is and if you remember uh, in your 12th standard or 11th standard you just mount here a paper rider and by using the tuning fork you, you try to vibrate this string and then uh, if the frequency of that tuning fork or vibration of tuning fork and the frequency of vibration of this string exactly matches that means resonance will occur and the rider will fall and that in that case we call the uh, vibrating length right. So again here we have here also two knife edges which can move along this particular box. So, the knife edges we can move them here and there obviously these knife edges are uh, touched to the wire ok. Now, initially what we have to do let us consider we have just attached the 500 gram weight. So, in this order we will attach the weight 500 then 1000 then 1500 and so on. So, initially just attach 500 weight to this particular wire metallic wire ok. Now, and we have to use an electromagnet. So, we will take a stand and to that stand we just keep the electromagnet here. So, let us have some stand here. So, this is the stand and the electromagnet and yes obviously the electromagnet means which can have the. So, here we have the plug in which between and this is the button right as soon as this is what we can say this current is coming that is what our alternating current ok. Now, that alternating current of which we want to find the frequency. So, when we started this if we switch on this button what happens the electromagnet uh, produces magnetic field around this wire and due to the uh, we are closing we are keeping this electromagnet very close to this metallic wire and it, due to that magnetic field or under the influence of that magnetic field what happens this wire starts vibrating because when we have attached uh, the weight here we have attached a 500 gram weight then there will be a tension in the string yes or no there will be a tension in the string 
and and due, due to the effect of this tension and this magnetic field combinedly this wire starts vibrating okay so now as this wire starts vibrating and this electromagnet is producing the magnetic field once at, at, at a position or at, at a particular point what happens or now you have to just vary these these knife edges we have to move these knife edges closer and uh, away from each other so as you are moving this you will understand that at a particular position of these two knife edges you will find a loop here like this a vibrating loop like this i will draw that loop like here so as you can see in our stationary waves like this so you will find a loop vibrating loop that means that wire is my vibrating with maximum amplitude or we can say the resonance will occur so when the resonance will occur to which two frequencies matches when the frequency of ac current and the frequency of vibration of wire if those two are exactly matches then resonance will occur and you will find the loop like this exactly you can see the new loop by your naked eyes within these two knife edges and already a scale is mounted on this particular box we can say on our sonometer so you can find exactly what is this distance by measuring this reading and this reading just take the difference so this length is known as vibrating length means every time we have to find this vibrating length l for particular mass or with respect to that corresponding mass now let us consider for 500 gram we got l1 similarly for 1000 gram again we will find that the string is vibrating but loop is not exactly shown then just adjust these knife edges again you will find at a particular length l2 you will get exact loop once the loop appears note down that two readings or two uh, knife edges positions and uh, by taking the difference we can get easily the length and moreover we call it as vibrating length okay this is what you have to do in this particular experiment and finally this is what the formula we have n is equal to by using this formula we can calculate the vibrate uh, frequency n is equal to 1 by 2 l under root t by m t obviously tension in the string so tension we can calculate that is m into g mass into because of how, how much is the weight of this particular uh, what we can say weight, uh, mass that will be the tension in the string m this m is not the mass whatever we are attaching it is mass per unit length of the wire mass per unit length of the wire of the wire mass per unit length of the wire okay and obviously l is what the vibrating length so you might understand that we are take we will take uh, near about a 5 to 6 reading and we will find like this uh, n1 with respect to first length n2 with respect to second length and n3 and so on and finally we will take the mean of all frequencies okay right so this is what the actually we will get the mass per unit length of wire don't worry that is what uh, already mentioned so this is what the total journal in which you can uh, see how we have found out the uh, this formula f is equal to n by 4 l under root t by m and all okay so this is what happens due to this n uh, finally we have to use n by 4 l because because what happens see f is equal to n by 2 and therefore 1 by 4 l into under root t by m means instead of this 2 this is the standard formula we know but here within that one frequency we have two times the frequency of that so therefore we can get uh, right so whatever i have drawn the diagram already it is also in uh, given in your journal also and this is what the electromagnet we are using so obviously to this electromagnet we will attach one transformer and yes uh, input is ac source that is what uh, the board or the plug of our this is what the actually thing so observations we have to do length of the wire we will measure that is vibrating length then mass of the wire mass per unit length to find the mass per unit length and actually it is given here the mass per unit length of this wire we are using is nothing but 0 0.02 0 0.02 gram per centimeter this is the mass per unit length of wire that we have used in our lab and yes this is what the observation table i was talking about serial number load in gram so whatever mass we are attaching 500 1000 1500 and so on tension obviously mass into the acceleration due to gravity g and obviously it is in cgs unit 980 
meter per centimeter per second square next load increasing means once we we will do all the readings we will take all the readings while increasing the load and secondly we will do for the accuracy purpose instead of taking two trials of the same load we will take it once while increasing load and once we will we'll take it while decreasing load right while decreasing we have to write from bottom to top while increasing top to bottom like this and now the average of these two will be the l that is what our vibrating length and corresponding to this vibrating length and corresponding to this tension let us find the frequency that is 1 by 4 l under root t by m so similarly if we have taken five readings we will take we will get the five different frequencies and at the end we will take the mean of that frequencies and yes the standard value we all know the 50 hertz is the frequency of ac current in our india so let us see how much will be the answer we will get right so this is what we have to do now let us move towards the experimental part then you will understand how to do the experiment right ok now friends come to the experimental part of this uh, practical that is uh, sonometer we have to determine the frequency of ac current or alternating current using this sonometer experiment right now you can see this is the board through which we are getting the ac current actually this wire which is attached to a transformer this is a smaller small uh, transformer through which we are getting uh, the current and that current is uh, provided to this electromagnet this is what an electromagnet electromagnet is nothing but uh, which can get the magnetic field or which can uh, produce the magnetic field by using electric current so that is what we call electromagnet right so this electromagnet produces magnetic field as soon as we start the ac current supply right and now this is this particular wooden box is called as the sonometer so already a scale is given on the both side of this one one of the scale is uh, uh, from this is in, in increasing order and one of the scale on that side it is in this increasing order okay now see there is a small thin wire uh, i don't know whether you can see it or not a very thin metallic wire so that's why you may not see it but so this wire and these are the knife edges so these knife edges i can move here and there that is what i said in the chart discussion part also so this uh, by adjusting these knife edges only you have to uh, see you have to look at the loop and this is what we can see the trial and error method and once you found the loop then this length you have to take now already the scale is here so take the position of second knife edge and first knife edge take the difference that will be the vibrating length l okay and yes this metallic wire uh, so over these knife edges it is coming to this pulley and by over the pulley it, it uh, 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 there is a hanger and that hanger uh, on which we will attach the different weights so that hanger itself has 500 gram weight that means already we have attached uh, the weight or the mass for our first reading that is 500 gram next each and every this mass is having 500 gram weight that's why uh, every time we will attach this 500 gram on that particular hanger so the, we know we have to take the reading up to 3000 gram that means 3 kilograms okay right so this is what uh, the experimental setup let us see or let us start it so how to get the readings here first of all uh, let me start this uh, alternating current supply okay once the button is switched on what happens that transformer is attached there so this much voltage is not required for that particular electromagnet and therefore what happens that transformer is a step down transformer and that's why it it, it downs the uh, voltage and how much voltage required for this electromagnet that will be uh, given to it and once it is set what happens now i can see by my eyes the wire starts vibrating due to the effect of that magnetic field and the tension effect or the tension due to the weight attached i know uh, I, or I i i can understand you are not seeing this wire but yes this is a small wire um, due to this uh, the very thin wire you cannot see maybe but uh, there is no option right so now but I will ensure you that the vibration takes place by having some adjustment you will get the noise you will get some sound now see that means the vibrations are takes place how did I found this position simply by adjusting these knife edges now if I uh, make uh, these knife edges apart from each other again what happens 
what happens? Uh, the vibrations are there, still there are vibrations, but uh, what we can say the intensity or the frequency may be uh, lower than the whatever previous case. And that is what we have to do here. We have to adjust these knife edges and once the maximum amplitude will be there, that means what happens, I told you in the chart discussion part also, what happens, the frequency of that AC current which is given to this electromagnet and the natural frequency of vibration of this wire, if both the frequencies exactly matches, what happens, we have already seen in theoretical part, what happens, the resonance will occur and due to that resonance, wire starts vibrating with maximum frequency or maximum amplitude and maximum frequency is how much frequency, whatever we are supplying to this right and this is how we can calculate the frequency of AC mains. So, let us take the first reading 500 gram weight is attached to it and now by uh, or by understanding this uh, noise or this particular sound you can see or you can uh, understood itself that the vibrations are now uh, with maximum frequency and now I can see the loop exactly between these two knife edges whatever loop I have shown in the diagram while discussing the chart. So, that loop once it occur you have to stop note down the position of second knife edge note down the position of first knife edge already scale is mentioned take the difference. Now, here the position is uh, 62 and this position will be 32. So, the difference is near about 30 centimeter that means corresponding to 500 gram weight we found the vibrating length is near about 3 30 centimeter. Now, you can see as soon as I attach this weight, now how much it becomes 500 already of hanger and this 500 it becomes 1000 gram. As soon as I, I, I fix this weight, these vibrations will off or we can say uh, the loop position will vanish or this maximum uh, uh, resonance point will go, right. So, I will just attach the weight and you can see without disturbing the knife edges, what happens? The loop has gone. Now, what to do next? Again, do not worry, we have to get the loop by adjusting these knife edges. Yes, now you can see once the sound come, you can guess, yes. Then now, again, we found the loop. Now, corresponding to 1000 gram weight, this will be the vibrating length. Now, again, if the third weight is attached, again, this loop will gone. Again, by adjusting these, these uh, knife edges, you have to get the loop and you have to continue in this manner up to uh, 1500, one then 2000, then 2500 and lastly 3000 gram, right. And by taking the, all these readings, we will go to the calculation part, right. And yes, obviously, the mass per unit length of this wire is already given, it is 0 0.2 uh, gram per centimeter, right. Yes, this is all about the experimental part, we will go to the calculation. Now friends come to the calculation part of this experiment. So, obviously after uh, while performing the experiment, we will take the readings like this. So, as I told you, uh, we have to take in order increasing order of mass or the load attached, uh, yes 500 gram, all are in gram 500, then 1000, 1500, 2000, 2500 and 3000. That means, we will take in all 6 readings. So, for 500, now uh, so 500 gram, we can find the uh, tension simply by multiplying uh, this mass with the 980 centimeter per second square because uh, we are talking about in our CGS unit system, right. So, these, uh, these are all the values of corresponding tensions in the string or tensions on in this per that particular wire. Now, when we have attached initially 500 gram, then we found that the vibrating length at which we exactly appears this type of loop that vibrating length is 29 centimeter. Okay. Now, we will go first of all in this order increasing 500, 500 and uh, in the order of 500 gram and we will reach up to the 3000 gram. Okay. Now, 3000 reading we can write as it is once again you can take the one more trial then just reduce one uh, one mass of 500 so what how much it will remain 2500 so for 2500 again we take um, uh, adjust the knife edges and get the exact loop like this okay and then just write the reading like so in that case we'll go uh, by writing the readings in reverse manner 
okay so now you will understand that there is a minute difference but it's okay then when for that purpose only we have taken the two trials now take the average of these two and this is what the mean vibrating length and now corresponding to this vibrating length you, this much is the frequency corresponding to this vibrating length and this tension this much is the frequency here the mass tension we have to take keep uh, from this point l we have to keep from this and this mass you know 0 0.02 per unit length mass per unit length so yes after putting that now you can see uh, yes that is what uh, one one of the calculation of frequency 1 by 4 l first t c here tension how much 14 uh, sorry 49 into 10 raise to 4 49 into 10 raise to 4 4 into length length is 29.5 centimeter and mass per unit length this will be the constant for all the things because wire we are keeping same so 0 0.02 so by doing these calculations this much is the frequency we found for first reading 541.96 hertz similarly you have to do for second f2 and f3 and f4 and all these things so uh, once you got the observation table readings you can find the uh, calculate you can do the calculations very quickly easily and get all the frequencies and finally now all frequencies we found and we will take the average of we know we have taken six readings and these are the six corresponding frequencies and if we take the average of these we got that the frequency of ac mains is 48.64 hertz right the standard value is how much 50 hertz so due to some uh, experimental error or we can say the instrumental error uh, this much is sufficient 2 hertz frequency we got uh, or about we can say uh, this we can write approximately 49 hertz so 1 hertz frequency difference is uh, might possible uh, uh, maybe you if you do you will find a more difference or sometimes you can get more than 50 also or um, if you are doing very well uh, with very accurate apparatus then you can get the exact value 50 hertz also but do not worry uh, getting the exact value is not important getting the uh, exact meaning of the experiment exact way to do this experiment that I think it is important right so yes friends and finally we have to write result like this the mean frequency of AC main is found to be 48.64 hertz and the standard value is this much 50 hertz that we already know okay so yes guys this is uh, all about the experiment sonometer in which we found the frequency of AC current or AC mains using our electromagnet and the sonometer right so yes this is all about the uh, sonometer experiment uh, thank you for watching this video we will meet in the next video with new video in this series till then keep watching keep learning and take care thank you